You I'll do be it. right back. I'm going to be on this. Got the dare tag. You got to play Snake if your tag is there. So this is a super interesting matchup because Pikachu has a single zoning tool in the neutral B that can make life difficult for Snake and kind of force him to approach sometimes. Um, so it's 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 all about how the Snake player plays around plays around T Jolt camping, and I can tell you from experience that Trenko is very comfortable T Jolt camping in this matchup, um, which is good. You know that's that's a good that's a good approach to to force your opponent to approach here. Um, but of course, Snake can kill at earlier percents, right? Pikachu's a light character. Uh, up tilt will kill at early percents. You can parry these. You can parry these neutral beats, but um, Trinko getting some good damage, keeping keeping uh, keeping Certipedic in, dis in disadvantage off stage for the most part. But getting back to stage and Pikachu trying to get something going, but never getting never getting too much damage here. Ooh, the accidental input of the Nikita. He wanted to be reverse, folks. It happens, you know. Taking it slow, and I, I, that's the way to play the matchup. Um, it's good, good on Trenko to know that like you can roll into a grenade if it's not about to explode, and it, it actually covers your covers your roll-in option from ledge quite well. Um, trying to convert off that, but not quite there in time. Ooh, missing the tech and getting punished for it. That is that is how Pikachu is going to get these stocks. Certipedic trying to put the fear of God into him by walking up and standing there. Ooh, perhaps another missing but in Nikita. Those are those are big game. Um, wow, that was great awareness that he would be actionable. Uh, he would be plus on hit there. Getting hit by the the snake grenade set up there. You want to be able to avoid those. Ooh, thought there was a grenade there to Z-Grab, I think, but maybe just blew up just, too, just too late. Ooh, not quite dropping the bridge combo. Ooh, going, going for the kill with that. See, pairing the T-Jolt is a dangerous game sometimes because Pikachu will still be able to punish you if, if they run in and dash attack and they anticipate it. Um, and also covers a shield drop. Yep, gotta, gotta threaten with that sticky to make the Pikachu not comfortable. Uh, ooh, rolling in from ledge. Uh, it's what every snake main is looking for if they down throw you at ledge. Um, and Trenko let him let, let him get the kill with it. Ooh, almost getting that C4, but not quite. Holding a grenade. Ooh, not... Oh, that was amazing awareness from Charles to, to, to know that... The grenade timing, what, where the trajectory would be, and what he could punish, what he could punish it with. Um, Trenko not not quite getting the grenade timings quite right. Oh, that's big game. He got the sticky. Trenko almost certainly aware, but now the sticky's on Snake, which means it's a, it's a true confirm from a back throw. Oh, good DI on that on that up 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 smash to uh, avoid getting hit by the second hit. Certipedic holding on to this stock. Solid 150. So, oh my god, the landing fair. Unexpected from all parties. Nobody thought that was going out. Up throw will kill. <laughs> Yo, what's up? We got Ninjendo coming on the mic. I was abandoned. TK1 was here, and he abandoned me. <laughs> ah, I see. I see. He's entering redemption oh, bracket. Oh, you don't Good want luck me to the mic no more, bro? No, no. I'm all, I'm very happy to have you on the oh, mic I, with I, me. I, I, Why don't you sing us a little song in the in the downtime? Give us a little. Give us a little show. <laughs> 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 we got we got we got Charles. Certipedic. And Read the screen. Trenko. See, I cannot pronounce that man's tag. Certipedic. 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 It's a it's a mattress brand, and I have no idea what the joke is. You I assume there's a joke, but it is a brand of mattress. My it's man a was probably comfy one day and thought right. about. He his had a bed. nice nap, a nice nap one day, and he said, "I am so inspired. I am no longer Charles. I am Certipedic." He probably thought about it after Snake's down throw at the confirmed percents. Oh yeah, that's maybe go to sleep. I, you know that actually could be it. <laughs> he's just putting everyone to sleep because he's a Certipedic mattress. What do you think of Ooh, blowing himself oh, up with this? You know, I was shame. gonna ask, what do you think of his play style compared to like 
yours or other other snakes? Well, obviously, I think it's much worse, and I'm much better than all than all of the other snakes. That's you know, obviously, that's going to be my opinion. Now, Judge, love Sir the Pedic, confidence. Certificate has the results, right? I, 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 there's no statistical way, I don't think, for me to argue that I'm. <laughs> better oh, than him. Go to sleep. Because he does things like that. He does, that's so hype, you know? My like, man is a madman. I've never, you know what's crazy? I've never seen him play this. <laughs> I've never seen him. I've never commentated his sets. Oh, So man. this is my first time seeing how. Certipedic is, is a hype player. Ooh. All right, all the Beaver versus. But Tranko is not going to be threatened by any of those movements. Oop. I was about to say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you felt what I felt. Yeah, we, we lost the mic for a second. <laughs> um. So right. what, what I like about Stratopedic's playstyle, uh, as compared to a lot of a lot of the Snake players, is just the, the movement always feels so clean, um, and and it feels like he just knows exactly what he can punish and what he can't punish, mm. and he's he does it optimally, okay. like all the time. So far, what I'm noticing, he's like he's a lot more handsy, like he's a lot more aggressive in his matchup rather than relying on the explosive grenades. Yep. And uh, look, he, like he didn't even knew he didn't need any bomb setups. He just straight up ran up to him and kicked him up in the air. Yeah, he's he's definitely like being very safe with his grenade pulls, which is good. Um, he's landing a lot of up tilts uh, that, that he's just sort of getting these call outs on, and that's how he won the first game. Mm. Um, just just good empty movement into into uh, putting himself in a threatening position where he can where he can punish the Pikachu. Right. Um, Well, it seems to be working, well, kind of in his favor. Good down air out of shield. A lot of Pikachus get really comfortable whenever they just see a shield, and I like the recognition that, oh, my God. <laughs> he's, he's, uh, honestly, he's he's connected enough of those fares that I'm not surprised he's just he's just going for them. He almost got a fair kill at, like, 40% off a grenade conversion last stock, but Trinko was good enough to tech it, so props to him on that. All right. Right, going um, really high yet again. Does not want to risk going right under Pikachu because he can just get spiked kind of easily. I think it just completely beats out Cypher, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, uh, Pikachu's dare? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. If you if you wind up off stage without a jump underneath the stage, it's going to be... It, it, a good Pikachu should be able to spike you from that position, but, you know, obviously it's hard to get Ooh. Snake in that position. He didn't Ooh, believe in the Nikita, but kicks him right back towards the stage and wants a little bit of more action. Charles, uh, Certipedic trying to find oh. the... Uh, Nair one into up tilt conversion. Oh, my man is got playing the... snake like brawl right. Oh my god, and the air dodge in yet again. And... Yeah, but just Certipedic just not quite having the. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know if he SDI that correctly or not, Ooh. but good. I punish it anyway. Taking Tranko to his final stock. Oh, that's that's yeah. Uh, that, yeah. That should be a stock. <laughs> As you was just stating right there, down there completely beating out Cypher, not giving him yeah. a single chance to come and back. He's off stage without a jump. Yeah, right? well and he no had a jump dodge. there, but yeah, he, but he had, had no air dodge. Um. So that's actually very scary right there for a snake. Also, so the, the reason that Trenko lost his last stock is because I think probably because he was DIing for a, a down throw. He was trying to pick yeah. a tech option off a down throw, but he got he got back throw or forward throw and he DI'd the wrong way. The um, so it's, that's that's just an important like tech skill for any any matchup is to Oh my god, he almost read that tech in with a yeah, thunder sweet spot. That thunder might have killed, right? At, yeah, at town and city, in town and that, city yeah. in the corner with a little bit of rage would have been enough right there, I feel like. Good get up attack, yep. All right, now here goes the zoning battle that Trenko will zone you out with Thunder Jolt for a long time, and he is very comfortable with that. And, and it it can Ooh. it can make it hard to uh, it can make it hard to to approach and kill him. Oh, Ooh. what a setup right there, forcing the C4 reaction. Yeah, and tr calling out Trenko's aggressive option and ducking right under that and using up to the the tricky thing about C4 is uh, 